Hello and welcome guys to another video about carbon credit investing, how to invest in carbon. If you're interested in this topic, subscribe to this channel and do me a favor and smash the like button. So today we're going to talk about ETFs, carbon ETFs. What are the different carbon ETFs on the market? First of all, guys, this is no financial advice. Don't buy anything just because you see it in a YouTube video. Here I made a list of the most prominent carbon ETFs, LCTU, KRBN, CRBN, SMOG, LOVC, KCCA, KEUA. So what does this mean? These are just random letters. No, these are the tickers for the ETFs, for the carbon ETFs. So let's take a look inside each of those. So these are by no specific order, although I tried to sort it a bit by market cap and traded volume. So the biggest one is the BlackRock US Carbon Transition Readiness ETF. LCTU sits at a price of 54.50, let's say, at the time of this recording. Important about this ETF is that it pays your dividend. So for all of you looking for dividends, what's inside of this ETF? And I was quite surprised. This was not the only one, but this is a US Carbon Transition Readiness ETF and the holdings are basically tech companies. So this, in my opinion, is not really a carbon ETF. It's just, you know, technology is going to solve the carbon problems or whatever. I mean, I just just put in the top holdings. But at the end of the day, this is a this is a technology ETF, in my opinion. Next one is Crane Shares Global Carbon ETF. I talked about this before sits at 4620. It has a very high volume, as you can see. So it's pretty liquid ETF, which is always good if you want to buy or get rid of it pretty quickly. And compared to the other ETF, this actually has carbon futures in it. So it's the European carbon future, California carbon future and RGGI carbon future. So basically a true carbon ETF. Next one is the CRBN, iShares Low Carbon Target ETF. Volume is not very high at the moment, pays you a dividend, so that's always good. But it's basically copy and paste from the other ETF. It's also basically technology companies and the top holdings are more or less the same as the other one. Just a bit less in percentage, but, but at the end of the day, this is technology, not carbon in my opinion. Let's look at the SOMG. The Vanek Low Carbon Energy ETF. Volume not super high, but okay. Small dividend, very small dividend. And this one is more of a energy ETF, as it says in the title. So not per se for me, carbon ETF. It has energy firms, renewable energy firms, a bit of technology, but mostly energy firms. So I would call this more a green energy ETF if you want to bet on renewable energies, if you want to bet on batteries and everything to do with that. LOVC SPDR low carbon target ETF. Super low volume. So I think not very liquid in my opinion, but it pays you a dividend. So that's always good. Holdings again. I was quite surprised by this that actually most of the ETFs, carbon ETFs, have basically technology companies in it. As you can see, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and also Facebook, a bit of Tesla. But you know, at the end of the day, this is all a bit of the same. <clears throat> so they're betting on the technologies companies to represent the carbon ETF. Then CraneShares has a California Carbon Allowance ETF. From the site, what I gathered is that they're basically sitting in cash. So they are. So I was a bit confused. Maybe they have not yet uh, bought the shares. Uh, they have some shares, but it says 0% of net assets. So quite confusing. And they have also a European carbon ETF, KEUA, but it's again the same story. They're basically sitting in cash. So quite confusing for me. So, like I said, I was quite surprised that actually most carbon ETFs are not really carbon ETFs. It's more about technology companies and some green energy with mixed with it. So again, the only real carbon ETF, if you want to bet on carbon price, is the Crane Shares Global Carbon ETF, KRBN. Maybe in the future there will be more. 
The Vanek Low Carbon Energy ETF, SMOG, is basically the green energy companies. They will probably profit from a higher carbon price, but it's not a direct bet on carbon. So I must say on the ETF side, there's not a lot of carbon investing going on. But I think since generally this is a very young space, maybe there will be more in the future. Also maybe with carbon companies in them. Again, guys, I must say this is no financial advice. Don't buy anything because you see it in the video. Do your own research. I will put the ISIN numbers and details in the description of the different ETFs. In the next video, we're going to look at ETNs, so exchange traded notes. So stay tuned. And as always, I will see you in the next video.